What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. My name is Chris Kellum. Today I am in Jacksonville for the weekend. I am visiting some friends. I also have my interview for the flight board for uh, the Army National Guard. But really quickly, my buddy just took me for a nice sprint up and across this bridge here in Jacksonville. Did about 2.3 miles. It's my man, Mr. What's Silva. He makes music. I think I showed you guys him in like a previous video, so if you guys want go check out his music, I'll link it down below. But right now, after that sprint workout, we're gonna go head to the gym, and then we'll see you guys at the beach. Alrighty guys, had a great time at the beach today. We are back at the hotel, it's about 8.42, so I'm putting my uniform together. Um, tomorrow I have my interview to go to flight school, so tomorrow's a really big day for me, so I went and got my uniform. I got it tailored and dry cleaned. So this is what it looks like. Looks good, got my awards, aerosol school, rifle badge. This is from a Desert Commando course. I did a 15 day course with the French. If you guys go infantry, uh, you will get a blue cord. So yeah, and then I got my beret. Uh, my buddy let me borrow his beret because I couldn't find mine, so I'm using his beret. But yeah, tomorrow's a big day, so I'm going to see you guys in the morning because I'm going to do some studying, uh, make sure that I'm well prepared for this interview, and yeah, wish me luck. Good morning. Um, today was interview day, so I had my interview this morning for the Warrant Officer Flight Board. I believe I did well, so I'm going to find out this week if I got the slot. My interview process took about 40 minutes. Um, some other contestants took about 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I feel very confident about my interview with the board. Um, I did get a lot of compliments. One thing that kind of has me a little worried is one of the warrant officers brought up that I dabbled in so many things at one point and um, he's like being a warrant officer you're a subject matter expert in one thing so he's like I praise you for doing all those things and being successful at it he's like but I want you to know that this could be a process could take more than one try so it kind of felt me had me feeling a little down um, but he said it took him five tries to become a warrant officer he did praise me on how good my stats and how good how good my packet was so it made me leave the interview feeling confident um, but what today is today is sunday so i'm going to be heading to the gym i'm going to go meet up with al we're going to go hit the beach after and just relax should be flying back to new jersey on tuesday
What's going on guys? Welcome. Today is Monday. Shanley and I are still in Jacksonville. We are just shooting some uh, drone footage. Yesterday I had my interview for flight school so I'm super excited to hear the results. I'm hoping for some good news this week. And uh, good or bad, I'm always going to inform you guys, make sure you guys know what's going on in my life. But this is something that I've been working on for the past year and a half. And this is something that I've always wanted to do um, ever since joining the military. One of the biggest reasons why I became a flight attendant was because I wanted to have a foot in the door for when I did go get my private pilots um, to fly for a major airline at some point. But we're just trying to enjoy our last full day here. Tomorrow we have a 3 p.m. flight. We're taking United. We're gonna take you along for the rest of the day today. We are probably gonna go hit the gym and uh, just taking the sights. We have this guy over here, he's flying this drone. It's going like 60, 70 miles an hour. He's got like this cool like virtual reality thing on. And yeah, we're just gonna relax. We had a really fun night last night with our friends. Uh, really makes us miss living here in Jacksonville. Yeah. Um, we do have a lot of big future plans coming up, so I'll keep you guys stay tuned. Tune, yeah, stay tuned in, make sure you're subscribed, and always smash that thumbs up. Grabbing a quick lunch at this place called The Loco. It's a new spot here in Neptune Beach. I ended up getting the tuna poke salad. Shanley got a, I don't even know what kind of salad. I don't either, but it looks amazing. <laughs> Just got back. We had a nice little lunch at that local. The place is called The Loco. The, the local. It's called The Loco in uh, Neptune Beach. It's pretty good. I got the pokey tuna. Salad. It wasn't the best pokey, but it was edible. Shanley got a salad herself. I don't know what kind, but his was better. <laughs> she liked mine, which is a good thing. But we just got back to our hotel. We're gonna relax and chill. Turned out to not be such a nice day out. And I would show you guys a tour of the hotel, but I kind of picked a crappy hotel. <laughs> and <laughs> understatement. <laughs> if you want. I'm gonna post the hotel and let you know the name here and you can go check the reviews for yourself, but <laughs> I highly recommend to never stay here. <laughs> Guys, there's handprints on the elevator door. Oh my god. What were what you doing? What happens in here? <laughs> Final night in Jacksonville. I ended up going to one of my favorite spots. It's called Bento. Um, it's an Asian kitchen, plus they have sushi. I ended up getting a noodle soup bowl. It's delicious. I also got a Miami roll as well. And then I get some sweet chili sauce on the side. So I'm gonna enjoy this. And then tomorrow we're gonna hit the gym, go to the beach to catch the sunrise, and then get some breakfast with my buddy. And then we're gonna head to the airport and head back to Jersey.